Hey, welcome back to Tammy's Beauty Tutorials. How are you guys today? Today I am a part of a collab um, for autism. Um, let me get the correct name of the organization. But anyway, it's a collab for autism. It's the, the Autism Awareness and it's a multi-channel collab and I think it is a wonderful cause and I'm so excited to do this. I'm gonna do one eye off camera and one eye on camera because it's supposed to be a short video. And, you know, I just talk a lot. And I already did my most of my complexion off camera, so I'm all ready to go. Got powder under my eyes. So I'm gonna zoom you in and everything and do the one eye off camera and then I'll be back. So, hold on. All right, so I am back. This eye is done, except for eyeliner, mascara, all that business. But it is done. I'm digging it in the blue look. You know, since I did a blue look in my last video, I really want to try to make this that one look different than this one. And I think, you know what, it did a good job. And I used different palettes, so that kind of helped, you know. Because I did want it to make, you know, stand apart. So you're like, oh, it doesn't look the same. What are you doing? <laughs> you know. I wanted to be different. And of course, you know, me being me and me being super extra. I'm using like four palettes. You do not have to use that many at all. I'm sure that there is palettes that have more than one blue shade in them. I know Jeffree Star's Blue Blood has a lot of blue colors in the palette, and there are several other ones. I do not have those palettes, so I have to like dig into several different blue palettes. So that's why I have so many. So I'm using Violet's Boss. Um, see you later. Glam Light Paint Palette, Glam Light Pro Palette, and Morphe 35V to create this look that you see right here. Okay, now I'm going to make this eye look like that. And, you know, so Autism Awareness is, you know, why we're doing this video and why we're doing a blue look. And it is a great cause. And I mean, I feel like, sorry, looking down, I feel like there is a lot of people, like, I think nowadays there's always people that you know or somebody's child that you know has that, um, you know, I think, you know, I think it affects so many people. Now, my oldest son, he has, he is, doesn't, has never been diagnosed with autism, but he is very close, close to that spectrum, and we have been told several times that people think he's in that spectrum and very, but he doesn't have enough things to be diagnosed in that spectrum. And so, you know, that was always, so this kind of really does, you know, I think this is a wonderful charity and I'm so glad to be a part of it because I think it's so important in advance also. He had a speech delay when he was little and so, and I know there are several um, um, people that deal with autism that have speech issues. And that just hits really home for me because Vance, he could not. So he, he is verbal now. Um, he has a delay called speech proxia. And so I can relate. 
to that so much. And it is so hard as a mom, you know, to have, to, you know, to, to have to, to have all that going on with their child because you just want to help them. And then, we, you know, we had to go, for one, our doctor was not super helpful in trying to find out why he wasn't talking. I mean, she kind of blew me off about it, to be honest. She's like, boys are lazy talkers, boys are lazy talkers. You know, um, it was so, so frustrating. I was so frustrated. I didn't know where to go to get help. You know, he was like two years old. I was getting ready to have my second child and he was, and then as I took Cameron in for his first appointments, I would still be like, Vance is still not talking. She'd blow me off. She'd blow me off. She'd blow me off. And I'd ask her, do you think he is autistic? Nope. 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 Wouldn't even talk to me about it. Blew me off. Blew me off. Blew me off. Finally, I got so frustrated. <laughs> um, he got sick and I took that as an answer to take him to the doctor and I took him and, you know, and I was like, had myself hyped up that I was going to make her listen to me this time. Like, damn it, she was going to pay attention. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> pumped up, like I was going to make her listen and she wasn't going to blow me off this time. Because I am super, super passive. Anybody that knows me knows that super, <laughs> I'm not even, I just, I'm just passive. I mean, it takes me a lot to get to the point to tell somebody. <laughs> but when I get there, I'm, I'm there. watch out because you you know probably not a good place I'm not in a good place when I'm at that point anyway so I was so mad and so you know I get there tell him what's wrong you know he had a fever he wasn't feeling good he was really blah blah, blah. but and then I was like you know I was like but then you know he's still not talking and he's going to be three, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, we waited too long for um, Johnson County Infant and Toddler. And I'm like, ah, are you serious? Like, you kept on blowing me off, wouldn't mention it, and now we're too, he's too old for it because he was going to be three, and then we couldn't even get him into that now. She's like, you'll have to go through the school system. I was so so mad that she's like we're gonna just check him for strep and then I'll be back to take the result I was so mad that I'm waiting for it with the doctor that I was just like oh I'm gonna go to another doctor I'm getting a second opinion like this is horse <laughs> cramp I mean I was just livid and so then I was like, I'm so mad. And then I was like, well, so then Vance fell asleep. And so he's like sleeping in my arms, snoring like an adult. I mean, there's no other way to explain it. And then he was like, and this, and then she comes in and she's like, oh my gosh, that's how he sounds. And I'm like, yeah, all the time. And she was like, and I was like, that's what I was trying to tell you, and you didn't listen. And she said, maybe he does need to see his uh, ear, nose, and throat specialist. And I said, you think? And then 
she gave us the stuff we left and we never went back to that doctor I got new doctors for Vance he did need his tonsils and anomalies taken out but that wasn't the main cause of his speech delay like I said he has speech proxia and then he has sensory issues and he has ADD and um, and when he got diagnosed with ADD I read about it and like the symptoms and it was like reading about your child but it did say that a lot of times ADD is misdiagnosed as autism and like I said Vance a lot of people do think Vance is autistic and you know and sometimes you know I, you know I still wonder if he is, is closer to that spectrum than what people think but they say that he's not close enough to be diagnosed in that. But if you guys ever want more in-depth story about Vance and his... In, about that, just, you know, leave a comment below. We can, I can kind of go through all that. Cause he's 15 now and so we have been dealing with that for a long time and all his IEPs so I have been through all that so if you guys ever need any of that kind of stuff I am going to go off camera finish my eyeliner the underneath and come back and show you the finished look and then close up this video and I'll be back Okay guys, this is the finished look for this collab. I really love how it turned out. And I am going to leave a playlist down below so you can go check out everybody in this collab. And also please go check out any information about like autism. And you know, just anything to help out with that cause, that would be great. Um, I think there will probably be more information about that too. And I hope you really enjoyed this look. And I will see you guys next time. And I'll talk to you later. Bye. And oh, please don't forget to subscribe to my video. And hit that notification bell. So you know when I upload. And also hit the like button. Bye.